Hey, how's it going? Um, I don't do very many YouTube videos, but I have been... I just got my iPad. It's the original iPad, and I've been seeing a lot of stuff all over the web. People saying that the audio is not working on the iPad, and it actually happened to me. Um, I got mine barely used, but when I got it, audio would work in games, like if there was music, or if I played Pandora, um, I would get audio out of the speakers, but I would not get audio if I clicked, like if I typed, or I wouldn't get audio when I lock and unlock the iPad, and so I just kind of want to show you what it looks like. Maybe I need to turn this light on. Ooh, that's a lot better. Okay, so I have the 16 gig iPad Wi-Fi, and I'm just going to, oh look, there's a mirror effect. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate how there's no sound. So watch. So I have it. When it unlocks, there's no sound. And then if I go, if I go and I try to type, like I'm typing and there's no noise. See? Okay, so I did a lot of Googling and I found that there is an issue it's actually with this button right here. Do you see the button on, on the top? It's the lock switch. It was originally designed to be the orientation lock switch so that so that if you're using the iPad, you don't have to worry about it constantly. Uh, okay, well, you don't have to worry about it constantly changing orientations, like if it's diagonal, if, it, if it's on your lap, I guess that would be annoying. So they gave you this slider and then, with the operating with iOS 4.2, they changed the lock switch into a mute button and they didn't tell anybody. So, the thing is, if you're using your the side button as a lock switch, then you're actually kind of accidentally muting it. Um, so, what you have to do is go, you go into your preferences, your settings, go into the general settings, and then, um, right here it says use side switch 2. And if, it's, and if it's clicked on lock rotation, go in and click mute. So that'll fix the problem. Um, and so then now, now, now when you change that setting, go up, turn off your lock switch so that you don't see the red. And you should see that. You have audio. And then... When you lock your iPad, you'll have noise. Hear that? And then when you turn on your iPad, you'll have noise. And when you type, you'll have noise. Okay, the second part of this issue, if you are using the side button, if you're using the side button as a mute, and not as a lock switch, how are you going to lock your orientation if you don't want it to switch? Okay, well, um, this is actually, it's a software thing. So if you want to do the lock switch, then what you have to do is, okay, double click the, the home button. This will show your multitasking icons and actually just swipe your finger to the right and it'll show you a um, like a play button and it'll let you play to your airport express and stuff like that but there's there's a lock switch button that you can do here manually and it'll lock it and so that way you don't have to worry about losing your sound but you can still lock the orientation if you want to and just keep in mind that this this switch right here is for audio only so if you want to lock it orientation then just do it on here and um, I hope that helps solve some problems because I think a lot of people are assuming that just because they don't hear any audio with their keyboard clicks, they're assuming that their iPad is broken. I know I did at first. I thought that somebody sold me a bad iPad, but it just took a little bit of Googling. And I hope that this video helps you with your iPad. And let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks.